I declare and decree that nothing is impossible with you. So Father, open up his ears so he may hear. So we've all got ourselves up this morning. It's about half seven. Suitcases, hand luggage, washed, dressed, and we are about to embark on our trip to Trinidad. Um, the flight is just over nine hours. The trip to the airport is just over an hour. Then there's obviously the hanging around, so it's gonna be a long, long day, but everyone here is really excited. So we're on our way to the airport, but how did this transformation Caribbean come about? Is some years ago, the brethren in Trinidad kept appearing in the chat and saying Shabbat Shalom. And they were describing where they were from. And I had a WhatsApp group that I would post links to our Bible studies via Zoom. And so Brandon, Stacy, Damien, Joanna would regularly join these studies and that's how a relationship began to be formed and that continued when the academy was established House of Israel Academy but really it was after some time of being in fellowship and community one with another that God moved my heart to go there at the beginning of 2023 to strengthen, encourage, disciple. And then it was when I was there that Father, the Most High, began to impress upon me, impress upon the brethren, and really began to lay out the plans for the establishment of House of Israel, Trinidad and Tobago, led by Minister, Man of God, Brandon, who we are going to be spending some time with in Trinidad. So, God moved mightily when I was there the first time. Healing and deliverance, signs, wonders and miracles, teaching and discipleship. So when the Most High has impressed upon my heart and the brethren's heart to establish a house of Israel there, we are in full expectation that another mighty move of God is going to take place.
So we've been in the land of Trinidad for a few days now. Just taking some time out with the family to explore this beautiful part of the country. You can probably hear the hummingbirds all around. But a lot of kingdom workers gone forth already. We've studied scripture together. There's been a lot of counsel, uh, strengthening, encouraging, discipleship, and plans for the future advancement of the gospel in this part of the world. So us being here, though it's it's the culmination of a lot of collective effort and sacrifice and people supporting and you know we can say and have the mindset that we've arrived but the reality is the work that God has for us to do this is just the beginning and I'm going to certainly be showing you all how what you are doing here today and the establishment of House of Israel, Trinidad, Tobago, me going over to the Bahamas and there being communities and fellowships in the Bahamas, in the different islands, and by God's grace, the vision that we have, that I have, along with the members of the Kingdom Council of the Caribbean will be to have communities and fellowships on all of these isles. And again, the reason why is because it is God's will. We know it's God's will. I know it's God's will because I see it in the Word. And do you know, and I hope you know, that whatsoever the Most High has spoken, there is not a being, seen or unseen, that can resist it. I just want to let you guys know that I was still in flight. I felt it from the top of my head to the tips of my toes. Just like feeling warm. At one point in time, I have a lot to hear. So at one point in time, I told us I was have to come to you because my back was in constant pain. But coming here tonight, and through all these prayers, I am here, and I am so thankful for what you share with us tonight. So I just want to say thank you. As Brother Marcus and his ministry here, yeah, he came and he prayed for me. You know, my I would say my hearing was maybe about from zero to ten, maybe about five. You know, but as he prayed for me, I felt a strange sensation in my ears. You know, and I was a good a pop in my ears. And when he took his hand and after praying for my ears, there is much clarity. So here right now, I am feeling, you know, I'm feeling, you know, that it's clear, you know, that I'm hearing a lot better, you know, because of Brother Marcus. After Brother Marcus has prayed for me, I will say that, yes, I am healed. 